say, man, this video right here gonna be a little different. <laughs> We're looking different over here on the channel. So, yep. As you probably seen from the thumbnail or the title of this video, I saw, I got rid of the Mustang, man. Got something new. I know most of y'all gonna like this more because I ain't been getting nothing but compliments on this car. Like, half the people that say the trade-off was, uh, it was pretty good, so. I mean, this is what we this is what we looking like stock right now. I'm not gonna tell y'all just yet what I got planned for, but I mean, as y'all, I mean, I ain't gonna say I do a lot of building and all that, but you know, when I put something in motion, I'm gonna do it. So, shit, uh, yeah, this is what we looking like stock. This is from the Mustang straight to this. No, nothing like we. All right, let me tell you how it went down, basically. Though. All right, so how I got this car. Basically, I'm just scrolling through Facebook market. You know, here go the interior. I'm gonna get to telling y'all about all the features and stuff of the car in a minute. But anyways, yeah. Went on Facebook marketplace, just looking around, you know, the typical car guy shit, you know. And I seen this, but the guy that was trying to get rid of it, he was like, in his description, he was like looking for a 2004 Mustang GT New Edge, something like that. So, me being me, you know, I, I like to get on Facebook Marketplace and troll, so shit. I text him, you know, hey, I got this 2002 Mustang GT. You want to look at it? So I get to sending him videos and pictures and shit of it. And he ended up liking it. You know, he was like, well, I got this GA right here. So, you know, if you want to come look at it tomorrow, you can. So me, I was just going to stop texting him. I was going to leave him on red, shit like that. So, you know. Not in a harmful way, but you know, this just usually what I do when I'm just messing around on Facebook Marketplace. But I was like, nah, I'm gonna go check it out. So I ended up going to check it out for real, you know, looked at it. Oh, before I even get too deep into the video, no, it's not a V8, it's a V6. Yeah, I know. I'm about to go and show y'all the V6 now. So everybody want to be in the comments like, oh, this is not a V6, it's a V8. Yeah, I know I got the Firehawk stickers on there and I got the fucking, uh, V8 wheels on it, but it's a V6. Let me show you. Because I've been telling the, as you can see, it's a big ass V6, but I've been telling a lot of people this is a V6. They argue me down trying to tell me what I got. Like, bro, I'm telling you, it's a V6. But yeah, I mean, anyway, like I was saying, I wanted to go check it out. And he was like, uh, well, you can take, you take it for a test drive. I rode in it. It's smooth, you know. The Mustang, I ain't gonna say, it, it wasn't the smoothest car, but compared to this car, this car drive 10 times smoother than what the Mustang drive like. So in, in my head, I'm like, I really don't want to get rid of the Mustang, but for content purposes and like TikTok, YouTube and all that, I feel like I'll get farther with this car than I will with the Mustang GT right now because everybody, honestly, everybody doing new edge content right now. So, and another thing, these cars kind of rare. You don't really just run across these cars every day. So I was like, hey, I'll really be making profit if I get this car. So that's how I kind of looked at it. Like I had, I had a lot of love for the Mustang, but this car, shit, I mean, you really couldn't beat it for what it is. So shit. Yeah, but anyway, let me get more features of it. But yeah, man, test drove it. He test drove the Mustang. He was like, it might even new transmission and stuff like that. And I was like, hmm, that's new. But yeah, he liked it. End of the day, he liked it. He wanted it. He wanted the V8, so he got a V8. I got a V6 as a daily. It's real good on fucking gas. Like, I can put 20 in, it'll be full. I can ride off it all week. Literally, $20. The Mustang, I can probably ride like two or three days, barely. But I just washed it. Oh, the paint not perfect, but you already know I'm gonna get all that fixed up. It's like, it's not bad. Well, it's bad, it's bad. It's been sunbathing real bad, huh? And you know, and I guess this is like a common issue too. The uh, scoops coming out, the hood scoops. That's what I was reading on the uh, forum. Yeah. Man, this, this is what it is. And the main issue that I have with the car right now is a, uh, the ABS line right here that I'm gonna have to fix. Gotta get that cut back on for the uh, remote start to work. Like it works, but it don't stay on. Like, let me show y'all keys out like it worked watch this oh the damn door open hold on 
It don't let you do it with the door open. I wonder if it let me do it with the hood up. I don't know. All right, it let me do it with the hood up. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about, what I mean by the AB, it don't work. Damn, hold on. Come on, man, for the video. Shit. All right, hold on, I gotta open the door and do it again. Damn. Let me let the hood down, that might be it. All right, we back with a round two. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh. All right, as you can see, it cut on, but it cut right back off. So yeah, and that's where we at with that. Uh, any other? Oh yeah, the other issues that you have with the car, it just needed new control lines. But to be fair, it came with control lines. So I mean, I can either put them on or I can just get them put on. So he gave me a full, well, he gave me like what? I think it was like three boxes. Three boxes of the control arm. Yeah. This optic spark for the trans in. Oh, yeah. I got to bring the trans down to the channel, but I got to do some work to it. I don't think I ever showed y'all the trans down. I had the trans down before I had the Mustang. I got to show it to y'all. But yeah, I got a full set of control arms for the car. Um, yeah, man. If, it, if you ask me, it was a pretty good trade. I mean, I got up. And profit, if you ask me, like got a full interior. If y'all remember, the Mustang had no interior. I mean, shit, it was basically a good car at that point. Hold on, show y'all the inside one more time. I really had to get in and show y'all how good the inside is. Like, bro, look how spacious it is in here. And yeah, not to know, like, look at the interior, bro. Come on, come on, bro. Look at that. This is what I see every day. I love that. Come on, man. I might as well be a Pontiac enthusiast at this point. I got a Firebird and a G8. I got the sunroof up here. Come on, bro. The back seat spacious as hell. You know. Come on, bro. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't show y'all. I got the manumatic transmission. Like I can downshift if I wanted to. Downshift and roll race stuff like that. If I ever plan on doing it in the future with this V6, but you know. Got the uh, got the Glock in the got the Glock in the door as always, man. Come on, man. You gotta stay scrapped out here. Uh, shit. What else? I mean, that's really it. I mean, that's really nothing else to the car right now. And I'm looking for some wheels. I'm not sure if I want to take the wheels off the Trans Am for or to fucking get a new set. Look at this fucking. What is that? That's a fucking pink Honda. But yeah. Uh, I'm looking at a set of wheels right now. They kind of like Camaro wheels. I guess it's ZL1 wheels. They, they kind of staggered in the back. And like a regular size in the front. I might go with them. I'm keeping these because these rare. Like you can't find these really. So I'm keeping that. Those. Fucking Mopar boys, ain't it? I'm keeping these shit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get some content in for y'all boys. Show y'all what I'm working with right now. What I'm going to do to it. But shit, I'll get back to y'all another video whenever I get to doing something else to it. I really, man, I really wish I had like a GoPro or something because I'm about to see if I can get a pull in real fast in sport mode. As you can see, yeah, like I told y'all, it got the manumatic transmission. Like I can shift, I can literally shift through gears or if I can just set it in sport mode like I'm about to do right now. Sport one. Uh, let me see if I can get a pull in for y'all real fast, hold on. Look like I might have to do another zero to 60. Cause the one I just recorded, literally like just recorded, that motherfucker didn't save or it corrupted. So I'm gonna do another one right now. All right, this one should say, I got that one. I guess if that, if that did catch, that's probably going to be the end of this video. So, I'm going to end it right